All right, time to talk about snowflakes. And I'm not talking about weather, I'm talking about schemas. Now consider this table structure here. This should look extremely familiar because this is the exact table structure that we're working with with our AdventureWorks demo. We've got one data table, a sales data table at the bottom, and three product-related lookup tables. Products, subcategories, and categories. Now, here's the thing. The sales data table can connect to products using that product key column, but we have no means of connecting the sales data directly to either subcategories or categories because we don't have any foreign key that can map to one of the fields in those tables. But fear not, we've got an alternative, and what we're going to do here is actually connect products to product subcategories because both of those tables share a product subcategory key, and then by similar logic, connect subcategories to categories because those two share a product category key. And in doing so, we've essentially connected sales data to each of those lookups in the chain. So when you create those actual table relationships, it looks something like this. So little pro tip here, models that have chains of lookup or dimension tables like this are often called snowflake schemas, whereas star schemas generally have a bunch of individual lookup tables surrounding one central data table. So let's hop into our relationship view and build out these product relationships. Okay, so we're back to our model in the relationships view. We've got these set up nicely to create that snowflake chain. And all we need to do here is connect the product subcategory key to the product subcategory key there and the category key to the category key. And there you go, we've created our snowflake, our chain set of lookups that connects all the way down to that sales table. That means we can filter or segment these order quantity values by fields in the product table or the subcategory table or the category table. Now, interesting thing to call out here is that you'll notice that a table like this, product subcategory, or the product lookup table for that matter, contains both primary keys, in this case product key, and foreign keys, like the product subcategory key. Because in this case for products, you have unique values for product key and multiple values for subcategory. And the same thing holds in the subcategory table as well. It's got a subcategory key, which is primary, and a category key, which is foreign. So just an interesting thing to call out there. Tables don't necessarily have to have only a primary or a foreign key. They could potentially have both. So there you have it. We've created a little snowflake schema here, and we've officially wired up all of the tables that currently exist in our model. So go ahead and give the file a save, and then we'll move on to managing and editing these relationships.